Hi everyone, um, it's Nini Nu, Anita here. I have just finished my December daily and I'm so excited. I had to jump on and um, share it. So this is what it looks like. It's nice and fat. It's at the back, looks like. I'll just tell you quickly how I made. I'm just gonna get straight into it. I found these like bags that came out. I don't even know what they are. They're like a papery coated plastic thing and I pretty much cut them up, cut it up and then made it into this um, Midori type journal cover. So it has a pocket here um, and then I didn't have enough for the back here so I just sewed a piece of canvas onto it and then just stamped onto it. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much how I made the cover. The book that goes inside the elastic in the spine is the one I talked about last video, which is this um, Dilutions journal, which I take the pages out and rebind into journals. But um, yeah, so anyway, that's what it looked like. And then I sewed my um, signatures into this into the spine to make this book here that sits inside so that's it there and I just painted it red this um, plastic that I put over the top after I painted it red I got these really super cute um, cellophane type bags at Kiki K and then I just cut it uh, uh, obviously the, to size here and um, sewed that on for the cover I just wanted something kind of fairly plain Anyway, let's get into it. So I did the um, challenge, the picture a day, the um, artsy advent calendar with Andrea Gommel, I think her name is, Gommel, Gommel. Um, and I had just had so much fun with it, although here in Australia it's like absolutely stinking hot. So I didn't do the snow ones. <laughs> I just tried to do like a with bit of an Aussie kind of you know, take on it. But anyway, um, so in here, this is the um, envelope, and in there I've just got extra photos and bits and pieces um, of extra stuff. Um, this is more like just a bit of a talk about what the December daily is to me. Then it just goes into day one and two. More watercolour with pencil over the top for the Artsy Advent Calendar Challenge. This is just a little tassel I made. Another watercolour picture sewn around. That's one of those plastic um, sleeves. A Christmas card from my daughter. That's actually bound in, so the other side of that is here somewhere. So that's from her, so cute. This is uh, Tomoe River paper, which I adore sewing in. I just love Tomoe River paper. And this is like, um, I made their event calendars this year, so I just wanted a bit of a running, you know, what, what was kind of in them. This is um, what they're watching on TV or what games they're playing. I like to every now and again, just, you know, what he's into and what she's into, my kids. Uh, this is, oh my god, I just, I'm um, in love with jointed paper dolls. So isn't that just the cutest thing ever? I just think that is adorable. Um, and I'm working on an online course with um, Jean Marie Webb, The Art of Hands, Learning to Draw Hands. So this is just actually like sketch paper that I have in here. Um, and I'll put the link to her class because it is honestly it's just so good if you're into if you're wanting to push yourself a little bit here just a little that was sewn in there and how funny is that deck the halls and not your family <laughs> ah, that was a Christmas card that I repurposed just with a little bit more information in there more flips some pictures that my kids drew at the time a little card in there, another artsy advent calendar drawing, or a watercolour, well it's watercolour with colour pencil over the top mostly, more tomorrow river paper, December daily I always put a picture of my kids shoes, that's his third pair of shoes this year, he's unreal, eh? just unreal my kid, he goes through them that's for sure, 
more drawing. This is um, when my mum came, she wanted to just do some like quick art. So there's this cute coffee cup uh, mixed media book from, now I've got to think of everybody's name. I'm so sorry. It's um, Wilna Furstenberg, I think her name is. I'll put the link down there as well. But um, I didn't do one because I just didn't have time, but I printed it all out for my mum. And um, I just kept one in there because her illustrations are just beautiful. And maybe I will do it down the um, track, but I got it for my mum to do while she was here visiting. So this is another one. I just cut that, cut the fussy cut it out after I kind of printed it. Uh, this is from a gift that I received and I just wanted to make like a little thing to put all my bits and bobs in. Isn't this thing just the cutest ever? Is this a Christmas card? And then it goes through on the other side as well. Letters to Santa. Christmas photo. Oh my god. We, I got my entire family. It was like a condition of coming to visit for the weekend that they absolutely had to go. We had to go and get a photo with Santa. It was like non-negotiable. So everybody whinged and moaned. <laughs> I didn't care. And, um, and then when we got there, because my niece is like a teenager, she's like, oh, let's all dab. Have you ever heard of dabbing? It's like, you know, the Usain Bolt thing. So we got, even Santa dabbed, it was hilarious. Anyway, we had a, we got a serious one too. But honestly, it was just the best thing ever, going and getting that photo. I will cherish these forever. Anyway, more pictures and some journaling. Some beautiful flowers from my mum's garden that she bought me. That I had to blow up and put a picture in. We went and saw trolls. I kept the little envelope thing and there's more cards and journaling and stuff in there. A little bauble with some string. This is a card from my girlfriend Louise and she is sells these cards on uh, in her Etsy store. Wish I might. She's called. I'll put the link down there as well. But her cards are just so beautiful. And some tinsel, some Tim Holtz tinsel from a few Christmases ago. Some more pictures. We went and saw Kusa, the Cirque du Soleil. Oh my God, it was so good. So that's in there. A recipe. We did some cooking. Some running races, some acetate, there's an acetate page, I love that, makes me happy. More drawings, more flip outs and drawings, I kept this open, I thought I might, you know, want to put a little something in there, but I think I will attach that down because I don't have anything else to put in here, I don't think. Up to Christmas Eve. This is so my sense of humour. It's terrible, I know. Um, a tag from one of the kids. Presents on their advent calendar. Some other fun things in there. More of my son's drawings. And then Christmas Day, when you need the most area to write and put pictures and everything. And oh my gosh, a shaker. I wanted to do one of these. I tried in so many pages to do a shake page. And I look at other people's shaker pages and they are just so gorgeous. Mine just end up looking, I don't know, maybe I need shaker education or something. I don't know. But anyway, that's cute. I got a little bit of a little bit of shaker in there. Which I like. My drawing. Visited my husband's grandmother oh my god she makes the best scones like in the world in the world so I had to get her recipe and put that in there some silly pictures that's the other side of the acetate page more fun stuff and then my birthday I went all the way to the end of the year I normally do just because it's my birthday and I like it to be just finished off a card from my beautiful friend Coral. Hi Coral. I had to put that in there. And then that is it. Goodbye 2016. Hello 2017. That's the back of the journal. That's how it closes. And that is pretty much it. 
I am so glad that this is finished. It's such a big undertaking to do a December daily, but honestly, my kids just look back through them and adore them. So for me, it's just totally worth it. Anyway, hope you liked it, guys. If you have any questions, uh, let me know, and I'll try and get back to you as soon as I can. All right, thanks for watching. Bye.